Good morning, everybody. So, today we're gonna go to the Iceland Sumoy. And, yeah. We didn't get a lot of sleep last night because there was a World Cup with Denmark who got sent out. That happens. I'm sad about my country, of course, but we got three hours of sleep because we have to watch that. The Danish team made me lose sleep because they're gonna lose. But anyway, we headed off to the airport. We didn't drive with a neighbor. He's, actually, he's a taxi driver, older guy. And my wife, she asked him, and he could. So we're gonna be at the airport in a bit. It's early in the morning. We're gonna drink a Red Bull. I'm just gonna give it up, you know? Right here. Gives you max energy in the morning, so. Three hours of sleep is definitely not much, but, you know, we gotta get what we gotta get. <laughs> but yeah, we are happy and we're surprised to, you know, to go to Samoy because we've never been to Samoy. We've only been to one Iceland, so now we're gonna go to this one. We're gonna see what it's all about, so. Yeah. Checking in with you later. So, see? Cheers. So the place that we chose on the beach, the reason why I chose this place is not really, it's just because it's cheap. Now, I really want to see what's going on because me and my wife, we like it private, we like it. Losing from everything else, we don't like five stars, hotels, all that stuff, but I think I think this one too cheap, guys. I don't know, we're gonna go there, find out it's gonna be adventure in itself because I have really no idea, I saw some pictures and this stuff. You know, pictures get cheap. I'm gonna figure out what it is, of course. There's a lot of stone apparently on the beach, so I'm not happy about that. We're gonna make it an adventure, we're gonna make it amazing. It's gonna be awesome, but yeah. Generous man that's driving us, her neighbor. So, top notch GI Joe in the building, man. You know what I'm saying? So, we are here. So, we're gonna get our luggage right now. Take the bag and take this one, of course. Not my most proudest moment, but uh, we there, man. We there. So right now we have Dong Mong, Dong Mong, whatever it's called, and uh, we have a flight at 6 a.m. It's too early, man, way too early, but we gotta do what we gotta do. I gotta watch out for this one. You wear your hair. I'm not that big, but... Domestic terminal. Domestic abuse. <laughs> Just kidding. But uh, yeah, we're basically gonna go to that because we're not gonna fly international. We're gonna fly terminal. Domestic, sorry. Jesus Christ. Amazing, huh? Already messing up, so. Right now we're at the airport. Guess we're gonna look for some coffee or something. So let's see. Gonna go domestic departures. Wait, the mall's up there or? The coffee and all that? I don't know. I think it is. So let's go see if we can find some coffee or something. Asia, we fly with Nick Nog, right? Knock knock. Knock knock. Who's there? Nook knock. Nook knock. Nook knock. Nook They call. We're gonna fly with that team, with that airplane, the company, whatever it's called. So. Oh, I can roll this pink thing. Let's see. All right, here I am lifting. I'm too used to working at a warehouse. What is this? That's a small one. Mrs. Yapiron. It's not good. <laughs> Now she's gonna take it. Of course. It's broke. So you heard it first. The uh, luggage is even broke, man. It's crazy. So as you see, my wife is so busy finding the place we're gonna be. You can have no guns on board. See? Her in a stressed situation is not good, man. I swear to God. It's my wife for you right there. 
<laughs> so we just came through security and uh, everything is checked, everything is done. Now we're gonna go to the domestic gate. I hate they call it domestic flight because it's like a domestic abuse when the police get caught out that you beat your wife, right? But uh, anyway, we on the way to the gate. Where are we gonna go? 76, 75, big number. 43. 43, this is my organizer right here, my beautiful wife. So uh, right now we're just gonna go to the gate. We really don't have a lot of time. They're already boarding, so we have to go. But I mean, there's plenty of things to do in Dunmong. Yeah, this airport right here. <laughs> there's a lot of things to do in this airport. You can eat, Starbucks, expensive. You can shop. Do you? Yes. She wanna pee. <laughs> so now we're boarding the plane. We're gonna get up in this beach and gonna fly south. So let's go to the beach and have a good time. Right now, as you see, we're on the plane, ready to fly. Right, so we're gonna see what we're gonna fly to the. Solatani. Solatani. I'm bad with these Thai words, but uh, we're gonna fly there. We're gonna go to the beach. Yeah. Uh, I forgot everything. Yeah, because look, it's in the morning. I'm tired. Let's get this fly over with an hour and 30 minutes. 20 minutes, yeah. So, let's get this knocked out. Cabin focus, have a takeoff. We land and now we have to take the bus to the goal. So, yeah, see you on the other side, man. I mean, look at this beautiful thing. Right. We landed. Now we're not gonna go anywhere else. We're gonna find a toilet for my beautiful wife. Well, the toilet is right there, but uh, we arrived at the airport and everything is great and everything is sound. We came here in one piece, which is always a good fucking, sorry, which is always a good deal. So right now we're just going to, I think we're going to find some coffee or something, right? After you took a, go to the ladies' room. It is what it is, but yeah, I think we're going to find something to drink, maybe something to eat. I don't know, I'm really freaking tired, but let's see. I'm going to figure it out. So yeah, going to wait on this. 
So if you want to go to the Icelands, you have to go here. And this destination right here, next to this one, next to this one. So when you have customers, you don't even have anybody. Let me see what over here. Augusto. Yeah, some here. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This is one of those forty-five baht, fifty baht. Sixty-five. Sixty-five baht for a sandwich. Amazing. Okay, you wanna go there? Let's go there. We go everywhere, man. It's crazy. It's very important to get your snack on first, man. Does it get? See, this is my wife. She takes me to places where they don't have what I want, right? Nah, no, just kidding. I'm a grown man. I can do myself. But they have something more to drink. There's always some. So I think I'm gonna get a, yeah, I'm gonna get a Coca-Cola. 30 baht. What you want? Sure, I'm buying. You want uh, this? Espresso. What, this one? Yeah. Espresso. Yeah. I'm gonna get this. Yeah. So this right here is a little bit more expensive than doing it yourself, but it's not that much. It's like, not that much. like 30, 50 30, baht? For 30, 50 baht. So yeah. it's easier to take it like this instead of just doing it yourself. I mean, you're a tourist, you want to relax. They do it for you, so why not? So right now we're going to catch the bus, but other people, they already left. So we're the last. We're the last. Of we're course we're the last. We're always the last. Always the last. <laughs> always the last people. We're the most annoying people. <laughs> no, we're not. We, 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 we're nice people. So, I'm gonna catch one of these buses over here. So, this is the bus. Here are our luggage is in the back. And uh, we're about to hit the ice land. Now, we're gonna go to the ferry, right? Ferry. We're gonna take that. Yeah. Ferry. So we're gonna go to the ferry. It's gonna take that. It's gonna take out two hours. Um, not that long. Not that long. Not that long. So, definitely experience worth it. One hour. So. Catch you back when we at the ferry. Get my bags, man. Some crazy stuff. Uh, yes. Thank you. Cup and cup. So here we are, ready to take the fare. We're gonna see what's going on in here. And uh, one thing I want to point out: when you drive a van in Thailand, don't be surprised if the driver's driving crazy because that's just how they do in Thailand. If you don't like it, stop taking the van. I'm just saying right now, just a caution: if you take the van, be aware that they drive. Really, really rough, just so you know. Look huh? at the camera and go. I'm sorry. Now, it's the point of lagging. My wife should get mad at me when I'm lagging, that's why. She always get pissed at me. So, in there, you can get snacks if you want to get a little snack before you go, but uh, we really want to go, so we're gonna see about the ticket right now. You can also catch some food. It's nice. Canteen. Dolphins, pink little dolphins. How freaking nice. So right now we're sitting here, we're getting an iced tea and it is really delicious. I could definitely recommend that. My wife is getting some eggs, some rice and some pork and some chili, of course. She always loves chili, so. Right now we're sitting here waiting uh, on the boat, I guess. I really didn't get any information when the boat goes or anything like that, so. You know, but that's part of the adventure that we got right now. So, right now we're just sitting here waiting. We could catch some drink, catch some food, and it's just things. So, you also have, if you have kids, you can go over there and play. It's nice. It's a nice day. See? Thai people think about everything. That's why. Right. So, yeah, we're going to try to catch the boat and see when it's leave. But first, we're going to get some meat. I can't eat because I don't know what happened. But, yeah. Need some sleep. My wife needs more sleep than me. She only got two hours. I got, well, I sleep when she went to work, so I'm, I'm a bad guy, that's why. Really horrible. I'm the housewife right now. She's the man. She's the man of the house, that's why. The, the roles have changed. 
Mm. So, but anyway, I'm gonna catch you when we on the boat.